Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Psychics Explained. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. If you are a normal follower, well, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Please go ahead and leave comments. You know the drill. There is a fly in here. <laughs> so today what I'm going to do, this is another video from a gallery reading that Thomas John did over Zoom back in September 2023. And in this um, gallery reading, um, there was about 100 people, and he pulls up people one at a time to do a reading for them. Now, he starts off being psychic, and he was going to do more, more psychic, which is predicting the future and seeing what's in store for people and that kind of thing, and less mediumship. But in the reading I'm going to give you today, it is just um, the psychic kind of angle. Very quickly during this gallery reading that he did of many other people, it turned into psychic readings where, he, not psychic readings, but mediumship readings where he says he's getting information from the dead. Of course, it's always exactly spot on with people's names. And you can follow through on uh, other videos I have on this um, gallery reading. So this is the third I'm doing so far. Those of you who have been with me for a while understand that a lot of times what I do is I ask, what is missing? What should be there if he's really psychic? What should be there if he's really contacting the dead? And in this one, I don't think you're going to notice it quite right away. I'm going to play the reading, which is about two minutes. I might interrupt it with, I just can't handle watching for two minutes, but <laughs> my point is that this is a woman who I've blurred. Her name is Donna. I've removed her last name. It's really not important if you know who she is because you'll see this video um, clip I'm going to show you is so weak with psychic energy of predicting what her future is going to be. And so I think that you might find that boring to watch, as boring as I have the multiple times that I've watched this video. But I really pay attention, again, to questions he asks and how much content she gives him. So he'll say something vague and she follows it up with something more specific. He gives her something vague again. She gives him something more specific. And the advice he gives her really isn't advice. He just sees things that are going to happen to her in the future and he doesn't give her a timeline necessarily. But anyway, watch this for, for that. And then we're going to talk about what is missing and and more, of, more or less what's going on. Please leave your comments. I really love hearing what you guys have to say. You usually pick up on things that I don't always see, or you see it from a perspective that I don't know, normally see it from. So I'm real curious what you guys are going to have to say about this. So let's go over to the video and see what we think. It's only two minutes long. Um, let's go to Donna, please, first. Donna will be our first call. I've removed your uh, message. So, Donna, if you can unmute yourself. Yes, how are you? Good. Did you have a question? I saw you in the chat, but I didn't really re read what you wrote. Did you ask something? Yes, um, job-wise and what you see for my future, maybe the next five, six months. We're talking about you being under like a lot of stress lately. So I don't know, have you been in a more stressful place lately? Absolutely. Or, okay. um, <clears throat> you, so you've just been kind of in a, in a more of a, almost like a little bit of a darker place? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, because they're definitely talking about that. Now, Donna, I feel something about you having your own business i don't know if that would be right now um yeah. something about you um um did, i don't know does that does that make does that make sense for you? yes it does okay is that something that you want to do yes okay absolutely um yeah so that that feels like something that they're they're talking about um you might even have a couple of different businesses um it may not just be one thing but yeah it's interesting you you definitely have a lot of stuff going on um that i feel you know moving in a lot of different directions um i feel that you are um a lot of changes happening for you um your finances will be picking up for you i'm going to give you a card Great. So your card here, I'm just, I love the cards because they kind of move the energy along. 
<clears throat> the card here is about standing your ground. So it definitely shows me like, wow, you've been tested a lot lately. And this is a time for you to really move, you know, you, they're definitely acknowledging that like, wow, you've been very tested. You've been going through a lot. Um, and I feel like things are going to get a little easier for you as well. What do you have for your own businesses? I'm a theater producer. You are a theater producer. So that's kind of your own business in a way. But have yeah. you thought about going in a direction with some other stuff too? Not really. That it, we, it, We're going around and we're, we're circling the world with it. So it moves around. It's not in one place. Okay. So you've got a lot of di different parts of it and stuff. Okay. Projects, yes. Okay, cool. So I think, yeah, I think it's just more about... Um, yeah, but I think I think you're on there. I think it's probably saying more. You got to kind of stay on the path that you're on and stuff. So I think that's I think that's good. I'm going to say that's what what that is. So okay, good. Let's go to somebody else. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so that was it. So she's there getting her psychic reading, a two hour reading that she has to sit through to get that two minute reading. What? <laughs> it's pretty vague, right? I mean, so she's stressed. Well, who isn't? Especially living in the world today. I'm stressed. I'm in a dark place every time I look at the news. Um, he made it sound like she's going to open a business. She's going to start working for herself. But what we find out is she's already working for herself. So then he says, would you like to do something else? She says, no. <laughs> Would you, I guess, having this business means you work for yourself? Like, yeah. Um, so she's in a dark place and people, I, it just was so vague. And so it, it helped her. How? How is that psychic reading helping her? Her money situation is going to get better. Really? Can you give me the names of some stocks that I should be buying or something that I should, you know, should I, is there a new startup that is going to be really a brilliant and I should be investing in right now? What are the lottery numbers, Thomas? I mean, something, my finances are going to change. Well, all our finances are going to ebb and flow. They're going to get better. They're going to get worse. They're going to get better. They're going to get worse. Are you, is there something in the stock market you can tell us? So now this woman travels all over the world. So one of the things he might have been able to say is, I see that you travel all over the world. I see that you probably should avoid Afghanistan and Israel right now, because I see in the next couple of weeks, because this was done in September of 2023 and in October, and it was the last part of September. So maybe a week later or so. We had a, a devastating earthquake in Afghanistan, and the crisis is happening currently right now, as I record, on the 16th of October, 2023. There's some serious things happening in the Middle East. You think maybe he could have given her a heads up, said this might be kind of a dangerous place of the world to go? Well, let's just say she isn't going to go to those places. Maybe she's going to some place like... Italy, or she's going to go to New Zealand, or she's going to Singapore. Those might not be so serious of a place to go to. Maybe there's nothing happening. Well, maybe there is. My point is, is that why is it that he's not giving her or anybody anything very specific and helpful? We already know he did absolutely nothing about COVID. He warned zero, nobody. And would you think that if he did say something like there's going to be a devastating earthquake in Afghanistan and you really need to be careful because there's going to be over a thousand people killed and maybe she's not going to go there, but he could say that to the world. He could make a Facebook live and he could say, I, Thomas John, am saying that I am starting to see that there is going to be um, unrest in the Middle East. Yes, I know that happens all the time, but what's going to actually specifically happen is Hamas is going to send um, these missiles over and there's going to be a music festival and they're going to come in and they're going to take all these people and make them hostages. And it's going to happen in the first week of October or whatever date he says, like within a few days range. And he could say, 
And this is um, going to be uh, unrest that is just on a giant scale. And that, you know, something like that. He could say something like that if he was really psychic. But no, he's talking about some kind of um, maybe her her finances are going to improve and maybe she should open a business, another one, something different. That's not helpful, right? It's not helpful. You've got, he says he has this amazing gift and his followers say he has this amazing gift. He's the real deal. But if you really are, then warn people or tell us something, solve crimes, help, do something. If you have, he says, this gift that is blessed, this godly gift that is given to him, then why is he doing nothing with it other than telling people to open up a business? I mean, it, uh, from video after video after video of all the readings I've seen, he doesn't give anything specific. This is about as good as it gets, unless he's hot reading somebody and he's read their Facebook page or obituary or whatever. The point is, people aren't going to listen to him the first time when he makes a specific prediction, a specific warning to the world. But if he does it in a way where he does it publicly, where it's recorded ahead of time, and there hasn't been threats of it, you know, so much going on, but something specific like with the Middle East that's happening in Israel, if it had been specific like that, and it wasn't tied into a whole bunch of other random things like maybe you know he gives a thousand predictions of all these things and and one of them is actually correct but if he released one then the second time when he makes a prediction i guarantee there's a lot more people who are going to be paying attention and the third time he does it he's going to have news coverage from all over the world looking at him and by the fourth prediction if it was specific enough and it was helpful enough not only would the media be paying attention, he'd probably be win a Nobel Prize. He would change the world as we know it. He would be on every station everywhere. He would be the most powerful man on this planet. He would probably be used by all the governments and all the military to really bring on world peace, to be able to imagine all the people he could find. There are thousands, thousands of unsolved crimes thousands, tens of thousands of unsolved crimes. Thousands of children are abducted and taken and missing people. He could find them if he had any powers whatsoever, which, you know, other than telling somebody to open a business when they already own a business and that they're stressed, she already knows she's stressed. Like I said, we're all stressed. Thomas John, come on now. Why is it that people still believe this? Why are they still telling you he's the real deal? Why can't they see what is right in front of him? That he is not making any kind of accurate predictions. And that all the content he gets in his psychic readings are coming straight from previous readings he's given people where he already knows them or something he's found on the internet. Look at my channel. I show my work over and over and over. This is what he does. Yet he's still out there and he probably has a new TV deal on the way. Probably has another gig in Vegas. Who's listening to me? Two people, 10 people, a hundred people. I know I'm frustrated. I don't seem to be able to make any inroads, but he's still out there and he's still doing this. People are still throwing money at him. I don't know what more I can do except explain these videos. And I have more videos I'd like to show you. I would like to explain it further. And I hope that you're interested in this content. If you are interested in going on this journey with me to explore, to learn, to really understand mediumship, then make sure you're subscribed to our channel and hit the little bell, that little alert thing that will go ding or whatever it does whenever I have uploaded a new video. Because I'd like to make sure that you're up on all the most current content. Maybe he'll make a prediction that actually is something. He tried to make some prediction for the Moscow mu murders. I put a video up on there. He got somebody named B. Well, actually, I don't think he even said it was a person. 
I think he just said he saw B. What good was that? Thank you, Thomas, for nothing. Just wasting time. He also predicted, he said, he didn't predict, he said he was going to start once a month solving a missing person's case. And he was going to leave him on his YouTube channel where I think eight months now, 10 months, I think we're 10 months out and we still haven't seen anything happen. I guess he's busy. He's busy predicting people are stressed. I wonder why I'm stressed. He makes me stressed. I don't know about you, but there's a lot of really bad things happening in the world that really would be nice if somebody gave us a heads up on. And I mean a specific heads up, not just there's going to be un, there's going to be earthquake somewhere and there's going to be unrest in the Middle East. Duh. 